Ancient. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ellison Cruz, and I am absolutely and utterly terrified, but equally excited to welcome you to quite possibly one of my favorite games growing up, Luigi's Mansion for the Nintendo GameCube, where it was at one point considered the black sheep of the Mario series, having quite a few accolades to its name, being quite derivative of the Mario formula, but still kind of holds up on its own, even today. And, um, you know, what with the month of October winding down and the release of the third game coming out in just a few weeks, I am so excited for that and I cannot wait. And uh, I just figured what better way to get into the Halloween spirit than with something that's, you know, a little atmospheric, a little spooky, and, you know, just a little nostalgic, if you would. Since I've lived in Seattle, every time I've sat down to do this game, microphone up and all, hot coffee next to me, I even had Sarah here at one point, the power has gone out, which has led me to believe that this is going to be a cursed project. But third time is the charm. And um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. a bit of a rough transition there but I wouldn't have it any other way as our intrepid protagonist steps foot for the first time into his dark and dusty foyer and welcomes himself into his brand new humble abode especially as he contemplates the subtleties and nuances of becoming a brand new homeowner so yeah I'm just about as confused as you are buddy <laughs> so the first thing you do upon stepping foot into your new home is probably inspect what's what's wrong with the place yeah pretty dusty if you ask me there are some uh, pretty egregious fire hazards going on here what with you know candles already being lit as I walk here dust being run up every time I take a step and also glowing uh, thorny doors that hurt when we try to inspect them of course Luigi would be the first person in history to uh, you know immediately get himself injured upon walking into his new house for the first time so yeah it's uh, not your general Mario platforming fair this game is slash isn't and if you press the A button uh, which is usually designated to jumping you call out for your brother for some unusual reason and I'm not entirely sure why considering Luigi doesn't know the plot of the game Yet he's calling out for Mario. Maybe he's just unable to function in society without being the singular foil to Mario's heroism before, you know, continuing on. He's just unable to be that individual person that his mom always wanted him to be. Anyway, I try to open the door and it's locked, unfortunately. And we hear a very unusual noise on the other side. So it's not very promising. There is another door here as well. This one also appears to be locked, so that's not good. Well, uh, maybe Luigi actually just won the foyer to the mansion. He didn't read the fine print, and he was just <laughs> completely oblivious to it all. But wait a minute. There's a cutscene and a floating key. Spooky. Oh, boy. Oh, well, there it goes. And as this strange apparition disappears... <laughs> that sound effect and oh my god the textures look at them oh man that is rough but check it out we collected our first key awesome now we can continue into what is presumably our mansion uh because we don't this might have been the wrong place all things considered did you see the map luigi was using it was insane oh a uh, nice little touch is that uh these flames are still on but these ones are not so that was just kind of a cool little touch but anyways 
without further ado, with our new key in hand. By the way, these are one use only. We make our way very slowly forward and enter the first real room of the game. The parlor. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 You are not very good at this, old man. But check it out, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I should take a lot of knocks in this line of work. Hey, you're a little old to be in this business, aren't you? Yeah, I'm getting too old for this ghost catching tomfoolery. Anyway, nice to meet you. It's Professor Elvin Gad. Oh, yeah. This house, I swear, seems to have more ghosts every day. What's a young fella like you doing around here, anywho? Oh, you know, just hanging around, checking it out. The huge. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, this looks ugly. Uh, maybe we should go? Yes, I will follow the post-haste. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, fan favorite Egad, and he's probably one of the best characters in the Mario series. Just, just look him up and you'll enjoy it, but... Anyways, uh... These cozy quarters are where I do my ghost studying. Professor Egad's Ghost Research Laboratory, the lab. If you have a shortening mind. <laughs> the lab, back to the lab again. So, uh, we won this mansion in a contest we didn't enter. A Nigerian prince bestowed it upon us if we gave him our bank information. So, you believe the mansion actually exists? I've been living here since I was a lad of 20 or so, and I'll tell you, that mansion appeared just a few days ago. The spirits have fooled you. Now, something I literally just noticed is that in the cutscene, he said that there are more ghosts there than usual. Yet he says the mansion appeared just a few days ago. So I think you're the one who's fooling me, game writer. I don't know if it's a dream or an illusion or what all, but I surely wouldn't be too happy winning a haunted house. Are you kidding me? You could monetize the hell out of that, especially with influencers these days paying to, you know, stay the night at a haunted mansion. Anyway, apparently a dude in a red hat, kind of like ours, went up to the mansion without even stopping to chat. And he never returned. Are you telling me that Mario went to claim this mansion before Luigi did? <laughs> Just to screw him out of this money-making venture? Because if that's true, that would be hilarious, and it would be fantastic canon, and it would only make too much sense if Mario tried to dupe Luigi out of his own mansion. <laughs> it's like Mario put this <laughs> this mansion winning contest under Luigi's name, so in case it was fraud, Mario <laughs> wouldn't suffer. <laughs> Alright, well, as we know, ooh, giant fist. Um, here we get ourselves a bit of controls, and my voice is getting weird because I just finished coffee. Um, growing up, I actually played exclusively with sidestep and uh, I didn't realize that that was not the default settings until a couple years ago when I started trying to reacclimate myself with the game. But we'll go with the standard. And um, if you wait on the screen for just long enough, you get an instance of Totaka Song, which, with the exception of Animal Crossing, I think is the first time that this song would be on this channel of 10 plus years and like 80 plus games. So, uh, we're not going to sit here for three minutes, so let's just go ahead and continue onwards. See if we can uh, wipe the rust off our lovely vacuum. But we use it to capture ghosts, and it's called the Poltergust 3000. It can suck up all, 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 all kinds of things. Apparently my English as well. So, let's see how this goes with our first jaunt with our brand new piece of state-of-the-art equipment. Look at it. Look at it go. No matter how strong you think your brother is, ghosts are mysterious beings, they can't be caught using conventional means. Which means they're beautifully unconventional. So, we have to use this. It's the only way to foil them. See, that is great advertising. It's just by saying this is the only thing that can take care of ghosts. Nothing else will work. So, buy my merchandise. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's go start some training. Um, by awesome music. If we hit him with the flashlight beam, all of a sudden you can stun him momentarily. Then it's vacuuming time. All right. Tilt the control stick in the opposite direction. So yeah, we learn better by doing than we do otherwise. So 
with these mechanically engineered ghosts that he just has, you know, hanging out in his basement, uh, you know, we'll be able to practice. So when you see a ghost heart, that is our chance to vacuum. And then for the second time, he's going to tell us how to do it. So, yeah, you're probably going to want to be as close as possible to the ghost. Because if you take too long to suck him up, then uh, he will escape. Third time, mentioning that. So, I'll go and grab this guy. You can get multiple ghosts in a single uh, burst, but uh, just keep in mind that is a thing. Tilt the control stick in the opposite direction quickly and repeatedly. Uh, you're gonna remind me four times, dude. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Holy shit. Alright. This is definitely the uh, Mega Man Mega Man. Oop, okay. So, trying to get two of them there, but I'm bad. There we go. Ooh, this ray trigger is a little sticky. Okay. That might be a little problematic. Can't go looking for your brother the way you're carrying on. Oop. Alright, so there's a uh oh, uh oh, hold on. My game just crashed. Hello. You know what? This happened in Rocket Power too. Uh, give me two seconds, and we'll try that again. Oh my god. Okay. Um, I think we're in a good position to come back with the game not crashing. I'm telling you, man, this game is absolutely cursed for me, so uh, it's enjoyable, and I love it. So let's go ahead and get all of you guys with my sticky controller. There we go. Three. Three of them. Ooh, that's so good. Pinching ghost means using the flashlight and the poltergeist as a team. You get me, young fella. Anyways, I think I missed just one. Maybe two. Yeah, eight ghosts. Go get those ghouls, Luigi. I'd say you're ready to look for your brother now. Are you sure about that? Alright, well. Yep, we worked up quite the sweat, so let's uh, take a little cool down in the gallery. He had his shower installed down there, so sure, we'll take a quick look, I guess. All things considered, it's not really all that bad. Um, we have lovely statues here, and this is where, you know, paintings of ghosts would be hung if we had any, but unfortunately we don't because we're bad. So we can come back here, take a look at our scores, because each of the bosses will have a score denoted with each of it, depending on how bad you were at them. And uh, overall, it's just the thing we'll probably end up visiting once at the end or something. I don't know. It's just kind of like a gallery for your scores. Are you done appreciating art for today, Luigi? It's like, dude, you scammed me. There's literally no art here at all, but um, could you tell me where we are, I guess? This is the gallery. This is where I hang all my paintings. Ghost paintings. Yeah, when he was young, he designed a machine to turn ghosts into paintings and traveled the world collecting them. Wow, so he's just a literal straight-up ghost hunter. Oh, it was glamorous, I tell you. Now I have a horrifying story. The last ghost I caught was number 22, Bulosis. But there are lots of boos, and King Boo rallied them all to take revenge. They used my machine to free Bulosis from the painting. Then they went and turned all my other portraits back into ghosts, too. You know, to be completely fair and honest, King Boo is probably in the right here. You have Egad on one hand going and sucking up ghosts who are literally probably just wanting to die and, you know, not be this ethereal being out in the world. But instead, Egad has banished them to a state of perpetual portraitedness. And, uh, you know, they just kind of want to be bereft of all of it. If I told anybody else this stuff, they'd probably have me committed. Yeah, so, spoilers, Egad is actually the antagonist of the game, so, yeah. But now we're gonna go help him out because we need our brother. I mean, that's where that's where I draw the line. It's when you kidnap the, the hero of this story. So, let's go back to the lab and uh, indulge in something that you might not experience unless you've beaten the game. Because... Players who have beaten the game will have access to the Hidden Mansion, which is in and of itself essentially a new game plus, which offers an enhanced Poltergust 3000, which deals one and a half times the suction power to the stronger ghosts you'll be encountering, as well as, you know, taking more damage. And in the PAL version, the mansion was actually mirrored, which is not present in this version, but if you're playing on the 3DS, it would be, so kind of interesting. And it's definitely what we're going to be opting for in this playthrough, so let's go ahead and do it. Don't get scared stiff, Luigi. I mean, I will certainly try and... Oh my god! 
That is creepy. It'd be a shame if uh, some harm fell upon the young Luigi. Here we have Luigi re-entering the mansion again with recycled animations. Lovely. So, Toad, what are you? Did you just break into my brand new house and are in the middle of a breakdown? What is going on? <laughs> Where did you go, Mario? <laughs> Luigi? <gasps> it's Luigi. You made it. Oh joy! Thank goodness. Well, Princess Peach asked me to come here to look for Mario. He left when he heard that you'd won a mansion, and he never returned. Wow, that is very telling and extremely suspect in Mario's character. <laughs> then when I arrived here, the mansion was full of ghosts. I didn't see Mario anywhere, and I kind of freaked out a little. I don't know what to do. It's been awful. Dude, you stepped three feet into the house, and you haven't moved. Please, please, you have to help me find Mario. If he doesn't get back, you have no idea how upset the princess will be. She'll flip. She'll put us into another trade war with all of our allies, and the kingdom will be thrust into turmoil, and she'll declare nuclear war. It'll be the worst. Well, you know what? Don't worry. I will save the kingdom <laughs> with my new iPhone. <laughs> you made my dark and stormy night. That's uh, interesting. <laughs> I wish I could do something to help. Wait, I've got it. At least let me do this. You mean turning the lights on wasn't your only superpower? No, he allows us to save, and Luigi looks stoned as all hell. It's hilarious. So sure, go on and save.